SS America was a steeled hull, 22,000 gross ton twin screw steam passenger liner built by Holland and Wolf for the Hamburg American line of Germany. As a passenger liner, she sailed primarily between Hamburg and New York. America was launched on April 20, 1905 at Belfast and entered transatlantic service in the autumn of 1905. When she departed Hamburg, October 11th, bound for New York City. The night before her inaugural voyage on June 19, 1905, Kaiser Wilhelm II boarded the ship and dined on a menu created by the ship's French chef. Easily one of the most luxurious passenger vessels to sail the seas, America entered Upper New York Bay on October 20th, reaching the Hamburg America Pier at Hoboken, New Jersey in mid-afternoon. Some 2,000 people turned out to watch her as she was moored. Lavishly decorated throughout, America boasted a couple of unique shipboard features, an electric passenger elevator and an a la carte restaurant. French architect Charles Muse was responsible for designing the interiors of America while the English firm of Waring and Gallo was contracted to decorate the main public rooms. America's interiors were a departure from the Bavarian style of ocean liners up to that point, as they were modeled after a luxury hotel rather than castles and palaces. The grand staircase in first class was designed in the Adams style, as was the ladies' drawing room. The drawing room had white walls inset with blue redwood plaques. There was also an Elizabethan style smoking room which occupied two floors connected by a staircase. The first class dining saloon was at the bottom of the three deck high grand staircase. The saloon which was in the Louis XVI style was as wide as the ship. It was overlooked by a balcony on four sides. The a la carte restaurant was modeled on the rich cars and grill at the Carlton Hotel in London. Children had their own nursery, which was decorated with painted scenes from nursery rhyme. On April 14, 1912, a ship's officer sent a telegram to the Hydrographic Office in Washington, D.C., reporting that the ship had passed two large icebergs. This message was relayed by the Marconi operator on the Titanic to the station at Cape Race, because the transmitter of the America was not powerful enough to reach Cape Race directly. Before the American entry into World War I, America was seized and later transferred to the U.S. Navy in 1919 for use as a troop transport. She transported almost 40,000 troops to France. While docked in New York, America, without warning, began listing to port and kept heeling over as water entered through the coaling ports, which were still open, although the coaling process had been completed over two hours before. Soon after the ship began listing, the general alarm was sounded throughout the ship. In troop spaces, the urgent sound that the alarm waked the sleeping soldiers who sought egress from their compartments. Soldiers and sailors both streamed up ladders topside, others jumped for safety on the coal barges, still alongside, or down cargo nets to the dock. Sentries on the deck fired their rifles in the air as they sought to warn their comrades on board. Over the ensuing days, salvage efforts continued, including the removal of guns, cargo, and other equipment. Divers worked continuously closing open ports. She was raised and refloated on November 21, 1918, 10 days after the armistice was signed, ending World War I. On December 16th, America was towed by 10 duck boats to the New York Navy Yard while she remained undergo undergoing extensive repairs occasioned by her sinking well into February 1919. While unable to determine what had caused the sinking, the Court of Inquiry posited that the water had entered the ship through open ports on G deck. An unofficial opinion held by some officers in the case maintained that the listing of the ship had been caused by mud suction, that the ship to some extent had been resting on the bottom, and that when the tide rose, one side was released before the other. Returned to passenger service in 1920, 
America was initially signed to the United States Mail Steamship Company and later to the United States Lines, for which he plied the North Atlantic on Bremen to New York routes. In March 1926, due to an oil leak from inside the ship, America suffered a fire that raged for seven hours and burned nearly all of her passenger cabins. She was rebuilt and back in service by the following year. In April 1931, America ended her service for the United States line and was laid up for almost nine years. In 1932, America was laid up at Point Patience, Maryland on the Production River along with other ships for the next eight years. America was placed in reserve. In October 1940, America was acquired by the United States Army and towed to Baltimore, Maryland to undergo rehabilitation in the Bethlehem Steel Company yard. Earmarked for use as a floating barracks, the ship would provide quarters for the new base at St. John's. With the new ship's new role came a new name, and she was renamed from the America to the Edmund B. Alexander. In May 1942, the now Edmund B. Alexander spent almost a year undergoing a major overhaul, acquiring a single funnel, replacing the two, and was converted to burn fuel oil instead of coal after her refit. The ship was placed in reserve at Hawkins Point, Maryland. During this time in layup, the call back to service was never sounded. The ship was then eventually sold to the Bethlehem Steel Company of Baltimore on January 16, 1957, and she was broken up a short time later.